Coldwell Banker Prime Properties, the number one Coldwell Banker real estate company in New York State. It's the market snapshot for November 2013. In the next few moments, we'll examine various aspects of the real estate market, which occurred in the month of October 2013, for resale single-family homes found in the four principal counties which make up the capital region of New York State. The month of November is one in which we show our gratitude and thankfulness as we observe Veterans Day and also as our nation pauses to observe Thanksgiving Day. There is plenty to be thankful for in the real estate market that is the capital region of New York State. So let's get right to it. Here's a preview of some of the market trends found in the market snapshot this month. Pending sales are up. Two of the four counties we track scored big in terms of monthly appreciation. The number of days it takes to sell a home on average went up slightly and there's an interesting coincidence pertaining to the number of active houses for sale. We'll get to that in a moment. First up though, pending sales rose nearly 5% in October compared with pending sales in September. This is a positive sign for the capital region real estate market since, as you may recall, there were a few soft months where pending sales were nominally declining. Even with those soft months, the year-to-date closed sales continue to dominate over closed sales from 2012 for the same period. Despite the fact that overall monthly appreciation levels in October were found at a negative 2.9%, take a look at Rensselaer and Schenectady counties, both of which experienced monthly appreciation levels over 6%. Year-to-date regional appreciation averages out at 1.3%. The number of days it takes to sell a home increased nominally from 81 days in September to 89 days in October. There is something to bear in mind here. This number reflects only an average. Some homes take a little longer to sell while others sell quickly. So whether you're house shopping or placing your home on the market for sale, be sure to ask your Coldwell Banker Prime Properties sales associate for guidance in this area. Now let's get to that interesting coincidence we came across this month as we were calculating the statistics for the capital region real estate market. We found that while the number of pending sales increased, the number of active listings for resale single family homes in the four counties we track were identical in October compared with September. Again, there isn't a hidden message found in this fact, just a coincidence we don't find often. Stick close to this Coldwell Banker Prime Properties agent's website and visit often for monthly market updates, useful information about how to buy or sell a home, read this agent's blog to stay informed about the Capital Region real estate market, search for available homes across the Capital Region and well beyond, and you can also select the houses that capture your attention and post them directly into social media and share them with all of your friends. Be sure to look out for the QR code in this agent's website, which enables you to take the mobile version of this agent's website with you on the go. From the agents, brokers, and ownership of Cobol Banker Prime Properties, we wish you a happy Thanksgiving. And that will do it. We'll be back next month with the annual holiday edition, also known as the December 2013 edition of the Cobol Banker Prime Properties Market Snapshot which delivers you the latest trending information on the capital region real estate market. We'll talk with you then.